Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the dog and bone wetsuit for the iPhone 5. This case comes in a ton of different colors, including combinations in both black and white and colors to boot, and each sells for $79.95. So everyone probably knows of the LifeProof Nude case, which is a waterproof case with no screen protector built in. According to the Dog and Bone website, the wetsuit case is actually the first iPhone 5's case that to be totally waterproof and yet not have a screen protector at all. So inside here, nothing in the box other than the case and a set of instructions. And here is the case itself. Instructions we don't really need because I'm going to tell you all about it. So basically this is the case. Um, to open it up, you pry open this little door at the bottom, which is a little bit challenging to do. And that's a good thing. You don't want, obviously, it to come open unexpectedly. And then you complete the opening by taking a coin and sticking it in the little slot right here and then popping the case open. You can then just go along and separate the front and back pieces apart. And once you get them apart, you remove the inner membrane. And that's like the most important part of the case. Now, you'll see some water on it. I just got done a water testing it. And that's kind of the key to this case is you might get water inside in between where the plastic and the membrane is, but no water goes into where the phone is. So if I peel this back and open it up, and we'll get to what this thing is in a second, no water gets inside here, and that's the most important thing. There might be a little bit of water on the outside, but nothing gets into where the phone is. So that's the case all apart. What this block piece is, is the waterproof testing thing that you put in here. So you assemble the case all back up like I had it, and then you do a water test, which I did do. And essentially that involves filling your sink up with water, putting the case together, submerging it for a half an hour, and then taking it out and seeing um, if there's water on this thing, obviously on the back side, because um, there will be water on the screen. This passed just fine. So to install it on a phone, you just kind of do the same thing. You take the membrane and you put it over your phone. You're not gonna wanna use a screen protector with this. They actually say not to use one because it may, it may cause um, issues with the seal. Once you get that on, you stick it into the back plate like so, and then you take the front piece and you close it all up by snapping it together. And um, there's no gaskets on this, like the LifeProof one. It strictly locks together with that membrane inside, and then close up the bottom piece when you have it all together. Just make sure that it's all correct so it closes properly like that. And there's the finished installation. So that is the naked screen of the iPhone 5 right there. Um, as you can see. Um, they don't give you a screen protector of any kind, which I think is a little bit unfortunate. The LifeProof Nude does come with the optional, they call it a scratch protector that you can put on the screen um, after you've installed the case. Uh, I kind of wish they gave me one with this because I love the idea of having a waterproof case with no awful watermarking screen shield, but I also want this screen to be protected from scratching. Right now it's naked, so it's not gonna be. Now, as far as all your buttons and controls go, sleep awake button, you get really nice tactile feedback from that membrane. Same with the volume up and down and the vibrate switch. The vibrate switch is a little bit hard to get used to. You kind of have to like press it in here and there's no indication that you're doing it correctly or not. This button kind of, you just feel for it and then move it back and forth to get it to work. Um, as far as the back, you have a cutout for your Apple logo, which of course is protected, and then more of like the rubber gasket material here sitting on the back. And then there's the optically clear cutout for the rear-facing camera, secondary mic, and flash. To get to the headset jack, you do have to pop the door back open. Then there's an extra small cutout right there for the headset jack. Definitely not going to be able to use anything then other than like something the size of the Apple EarPods. That's about the only thing that will fit inside there. Same for the lightning connection. It's very small and you're not going to be able to fit any like larger, wider third-party cables in there. As far as using this case, um, I didn't see any issues at all with muffling, um, with not being able to hear. I did have that issue with some of the LifeProof cases. Definitely not with this one. It sounds just fine. And callers on the other end of the line reported that I sounded just fine. Again, here's the home button, which gives nice feedback as well when you press it. So I know the question that's gonna get asked a zillion times, this or the LifeProof, I really think it's a toss up. Um, number one, it depends on whether you need the scratch protector that they give you with the LifeProof. If you're someone that doesn't care about scratches on your screen, this does a great job and it's $10 less than the LifeProof case. 
If you're someone that really wants to keep your screen in pristine condition, you might want to go with the life proof so you get that built in screen protector as well. Who knows, maybe Dog and Bone will opt to uh, make screen protectors that you can put in here to cover the glass and that would solve the problem. But this seems to come in more colors. Again, it's um, a little bit cheaper and it works uh, as well, if not better, as far as audio goes than all the life proof cases I had a chance to review. Um, I did take it um, again with, um, after I did the water test um, in some water, I'm not gonna bore you with that on this video. If you wanna check out the full review over on runaroundtech.com, you can see um, all the details on the water test and whatnot over there. Um, if you have any questions about the case specifically, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll put a link in the video description where you can learn more about it. Of course, if there's anything else you need, um, also leave a comment below you know, with anything. Um, otherwise, have a great day.